How's everyone doing? Uh, Rod Rodriguez here from the After Action Review. Um, I'm over here on my lunch break, and I want to take a minute here because I, I got this idea uh, <clears throat> in my head. I've been thinking about this uh, uh, for most of the day, uh, and it has a lot to do with, with education. And uh, like I said, shooting down some entrepreneurs. I think uh, I, had to, I had to really think about what, what I've been doing with the last 10 years. Uh, I spent 10 years active duty in the United States Army, and I don't regret it. But I feel sometimes like I, uh, I didn't pursue some of my ideas. I didn't pursue like entrepreneurship. I, I really wasn't even sure how to think about those kinds of things. And I think uh, uh, several uh, business leaders and motivators out there, and you watch the videos, they always talk about, you know, don't, don't bother with an MBA because you're, gonna, you're not going to need it. Just go out there and get practical experience. Well, yeah, that, that sounds good. Um, but I'm, I was one of those people, uh, I came from a household where education was everything. You know, it was everything. If you didn't get an education, you were going to fail. In fact, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, the, the equivalent was, if you don't get your education, uh, your life is going to be garbage. You're going to end up living in poverty, and uh, you're just going to fuck everything up. So, <clears throat> that's, the, that's the life I live. You know, that's, that's what I firmly believe. And I think that that pressure and that anxiety, uh, I think that got to me in high school. And I said, fuck it. You know, throw away all that stuff. And decided to go into the military because I thought that was like the antithesis of everything that my, you know, I was growing up with. Uh, I, wasn't ex I didn't think I was going to be expected to uh, get a degree or any of that stuff. I, I thought I was just going to go do a job and, and make rank and, and be a, an army soldier guy. You know, with that, that, you know, the stupid thoughts you have when you're a young Joe and you're a young private. That kind of shit. So... I think that what happened was I was never really taught to think as an entrepreneur. I was always taught to think as a leader, but there's a difference between being a leader and being an entrepreneur. You can be a leader in the military without necessarily needing to have original thought. I mean, that's be honest with themselves, right? Um, and that wasn't good enough for me. And I, I think that there's a lot of soldiers out there that I think I shot them down. I think I shot a lot of future entrepreneurs down. I think I talked people into staying in the military um, because I I was coming at their frame of mind, their frame of the world, the world view, I should say, from my frame, which was, if you don't have a plan for education, you're gonna get out. And I preached to them the same shit that my parents taught me. Uh, you get out there, you're gonna have a plan for education, you're gonna fail, you're gonna fail instead of encouraging some of these Joes to pursue something more independent, something that was less uh, mainstream, maybe it didn't have to do with education. I know some of these guys were artists, they were musicians, they, were, they had uh, ideas of, of pursuing things outside the military, uh, uh, the military frame, and even outside the educational frame. So I've been thinking about that a lot because I have kids now and one of my kids calls me up last night and we talk about he wants to start his own hustle he wants to start selling these little uh, fidget spinner things you've probably seen him kid just spinning these little fucking toys around you know he's 14 and he's talking about like hey I've looked online I could buy so many for so much and then sell them for this and it gives me a profit for this and I'm like god damn you know, I think if I had tried to explain that to my parents, they would have been like, don't waste your time, get back to the books, go study, that's your way out. And, you know, I thought about that last night, and I, I decided to tell this kid, hey, look, let's, let's focus on that, let's work on that. What do you need from me? How can I support you? Show me your plan, show me what you're going to do, give me an idea, and I want you to think your way through this. I want him to develop these entrepreneurial uh uh, skills now because I honestly think that if I had developed these if I had started developing skills 
when I was younger, I, I think my military career could have even could have been even better, you know. But you know, hindsight always twenty twenty. Um, but anyways, that's my midday thought. You know, uh, I'd love to hear what anybody else has to think. Uh, are you pursuing an MBA? Why? Why are you pursuing an MBA? Uh, how do you feel like that's going to help you? And have you? Has somebody decided not to do their MBA? And why have you decided not to do it? I thought about doing it. I thought about going back to school and maybe not necessarily to learn how to be a business uh, owner or even entrepreneur, but maybe to get those uh, credentials to put those put that on my resume or or to to when you know when you're when you're looking to fund your business and people asking you, well, why are you why should I give you, you know, twenty, fifty thousand, hundred fifty thousand dollars? You know, being able to say, hey, I have a master's in business administration and uh, blah 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 blah. I know this shit. But then of course there's there's a lot of people that will argue like that don't mean shit to them. Uh, they want to know experience, they want to know what you're selling, they wonder how much you've sold, that kind of stuff. So anyways, that's my midday thought. Hit me up later. Uh Uh it's coming along just fine. Or, uh, of course, always leave some comments here, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later.